Hello, I'm Spade. I've been playing a lot of matchmaking recently, just trying to get a better game sense going and really understand how the maps work when you're playing in a competitive environment. I'm not done playing deathmatch by any means. My aim needs a lot of work still, and I think I keep getting into spray battles in situations where if I'd really done my deathmatch practice right, I wouldn't be there. So there's a lot more to do on that front still. Nice job, One of the things I've noticed as I've been playing more matchmaking is that it's really important to learn, especially as the CTs, how to play different spots on the map. Uh, you know, things like dropping down off that ledge and losing some health is, it's just stupid. Now I do okay here. But even so, I figured it was probably good to spend some time learning how the maps work and how different, more experienced players play at each site. You know, there's different places you can be when you're watching a site waiting for a push. And on Nuke, for example, there's usually somebody up in the rafters or, you know, watching this A site can be kind of complicated. So I actually went and I saw uh, some of the uh, Hatton Games videos, which I pointed out in a previous video and so this is Hatton playing now and just just taking a look at what he does when he covers a site comes up here he jumps to these silos and then to hut he has kind of an angle on squeaky and an angle on anybody coming out of hut plus he can look outside so I decided well you know I'll try doing what he does I get stuck there a little. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> so that worked okay. Once again, though, I keep dropping to the ground. The other nice thing about playing all this matchmaking, though, is that uh, at the end of it, I actually got a rank. Gold Nova 2. Whatever the hell that means. Spade out.